Hi there, my name is Lydia. We are in the Irvine lab with MP Biomedicals. I am discussing how to turn on and how to operate the Fast Prep 96. Um, if you want to come closer, you can see the two knobs we have, one for time so you can increase the seconds and decrease, goes all the way up to five minutes. You most likely won't ever have to run a cycle that long. For today's demo, we're just gonna do about 10 seconds just for demonstration purposes. This knob to the right is for speed, so you can increase your speed all the way up to 1800 RPMs. Uh, if you have a Fast Prep 24, you probably are familiar with meters per second. We do have a conversion table that we can show out to you. It's not precise, but it's uh, a little bit paralleled. So what we have today are two weld plates and these sit in the plate holder like so. To the left, we have a couple of different sample holders. This is our quick flex, so this holds 96 of the two mil tubes. If you're familiar with our lysing matrix, you'll see that there's a two mil tube with a zirconium oxide sphere. Again, these can hold up to 96 of the two mil tubes. You would attach the sample holder and replace this sample holder with the quick flex as I showed you. But what we have loaded is the well plate that comes complementary with the Fast Prep 96. It's important that this is really secure. A lot of mistakes customers will make is not having it sealed and many times you, you may experience your tubes breaking, busting, leaking, or uh, sometimes the caps just aren't all the way sealed. So we'll close this and there are magnets here to keep this closed. Just make sure you don't shut it hard. And again for today's demo we'll run 10 seconds so very simple. Hit start. today's demonstration.